Bonjour et bienvenue. Hello and welcome to Straight for the Channel. Today we're going to learn which preposition to use in front of names of places. We have touched on this during the introduction series when we talked about where we come from, venir de, but we are going to delve a little bit deeper now. So, prepositions are small words that link elements in the sentence, expressing a relation between those elements that can be causal, spatial or temporal, for example. If you are struggling to remember the word preposition or its meaning, think of it this way. It is a word that usually precedes a noun and can express a position, whether in time or space. These are two French phrases using a preposition. Avoir la tête dans les nuages, literally to have your head in the clouds, and avoir les pieds sur terre, literally to have your feet on the ground. Now let's have a look at various examples of people talking about where they come from, where they live, or where they've been traveling. And you can see that they all use prepositions. Thankfully, these prepositions can be categorized depending on which verb is used in front of them. So the prepositions de, des apostrophes, du and des are used in front of verbs such as venir, revenir or être and can be translated into from. On the other hand, the prepositions en, a, au, au and oaux are used in front of verbs such as aller, habiter or être when talking about a place you're in or at. So that helps us to know which preposition to use depending on the verb. But in both these categories, we still have four prepositions to choose from. De is used in front of names of cities, towns or villages feminine countries and islands. De apostrophe is used in front of names of countries that start with a vowel. Du is used in front of names of masculine countries and de is used in front of names of plural countries. In our second category, en is used in front of names of feminine countries and countries that start with a vowel. A is used in front of names of cities, towns, villages and islands. O, A, U is used in front of names of masculine countries and O, A, U, X with the X indicating a plural is used in front of names of plural countries. Now, how do you know the gender of a country? Giving countries gender does not make much sense. What I can tell you though is that all of the names of the countries ending in E and all of the islands are feminine apart from seven countries ending in E that are masculine. All of the other countries are masculine. As for plural countries, it's quite easy. They are the same in French and English and in English you tend to use the in front of them. For example, les états unis the United States. This is a summary of what we've just seen and it can also serve as a tool for you to know which preposition to use. Let's use it with a couple of examples. Let's try and translate Lucas was born in China into French. Lucas est né from the verb naître, to be born, which is our second category, which means these are the prepositions we're interested in. Now, let's have a look at how to translate China into French. Chine. And the dictionary even tells you that it's feminine, but otherwise you could have guessed because it ends in an E and is not amongst the list of exceptions. We just double check, but it doesn't start with a vowel, is not plural, and is definitely not a city or an island. So we are going for Lucas est né en Chine. And one last example before we finish, let's try and translate I come from the USA, je viens. Now, viens is from the verb venir, which means we are looking at our first category. The USA, as we have just seen, is a plural country, 
So we will be using des. Je viens des États-Unis d'Amérique. And that's it for today. You can pause the video if you want to screenshot or memorize that little table. I hope you found this helpful and I hope to see you soon on Straight Through the Channel. Thanks for watching. Merci et à bientôt.